Hey guys! Welcome back to more Pokemon Yellow. This isn't yellow! What am I saying? This is emerald. In Grass Challenge, in the last episode, we got Lily Pad over here, level 15. Well, it evolved into Lombre, that's the most important thing. It's pretty calm, pretty chill. She's pretty much working it. We don't got a lot of grass types on our team right now, but that's okay, because today's episode is all about Granite Cave. So let's get in here right now. Now basically this place is filled with rock Pokemon. Great place to train up grass types, but I don't think it'll be too necessary. But I did buy some repels, they didn't go back to Battle Bird because there's no marts in this dang town. So anyways, hey you, it gets awfully dark ahead. It'll be tough trying to explore. The guy who came in here earlier, Steven I think it was, he knew how to flash. So he ought to be alright, but the ball for us hikers helping out those in their need in our motto. Here, I'll pass this on to you. You got HMO5, there's a flash, you need the gym badge to do it. Teach the hidden move flash to Pokemon and use it. It lightens in the inky darkness of caves. But to use it, you need the gym badge from Dufer's Pokemon Gym. Well, to you, I say screw that, because I'm gonna do this blindly into the night. An escape room in case you mess up, but I don't think so. This cave is pretty easy, actually. Oh my god, it's awfully dark, though. It's awfully dark in here, Freddy! Who's Freddy? I don't even know who's Freddy. I think the only benefit, if you want the flash, is if you just want to, uh, find rare items and stuff like that. But I found a Pokeball, I guess hidden items. And going with that acro bike would be nice. For the bikes, the repel wore off. The thing about this game, that I like that they added in the new ones is that you could like spray repels on access. We're we're spoiled with choice now. But you just have to like bear with it and just open up your bag every time. This cave is pretty dark, but it's not too big of a deal. You can find your way around. Just hit the walls a lot. You'll hear a lot of bumping, but nothing wrong with a little booty bump. <laughs> Am I right? No, I didn't even think that. So if you wanna find cool rock type Pokemon, you can do it right here. Like Nose Pass, Mawile, Aron, all that cool stuff. Mawile's not dark. I mean, like, I always thought Mawile was dark, but that's not what point I was trying to make. The point is <laughs> that it's not a rock type, but we got this Everstone over here. So this pretty stone prevents Pokemon from evolving, but who wants that? I guess if you're going for Curly or Gallad or something and you don't want it, so it gets annoying and annoying over and over. Anything here? I don't want to, like, jump off. How about this rock? No. No, we'll just go upstairs. And here we are, we're in Granite Cave already! Still, it only took us four repels. So that's pretty good. I was gonna buy five, but I said, hey, why not? Just in case we need them. So here it is, here's where we need to go. This is a short granite cave. Who's this macho? My name is Steven. I'm interested in rare stones, so I travel here and there. Oh, a letter for me. There's a letter for you, indeed. Okay, thank you. You went through all this trouble to deliver that. I need to thank you. Let me see. I'll give you this TM. It contains my favorite move, Steel Wing. I don't know if we'll need that, but I appreciate the thought anyways. Regardless, your Pokemon here are quite capable. If you keep training, you could even become the champion of the Elite Four or Pokemon League one day. That's what I think. I know. Since we got to know each other, let's register one sexy number to our Pokenabs. Registered Steven. No, no alias. Sorry about that. Now I want to hurry along. Sayonara. Oh, that booty. <laughs> I'm just kind of weird today, but that's just usual. That's the norm. That's Granite Cave. All done for you. Not a single Pokemon encounter because that's the way I like it. Now normally, what most people would do is... The Repel War Off. But is go challenge the gym leader, obviously. But for... Here's a fun fact. You can actually go to Slateport now. Which is what we're going to do. So let's go to Slateport away. Goodbye, Deferred. I love you. That was fast. We barely got to know you. <laughs> we were like there for only 10 minutes. And we're sailing across the ocean. It's beautiful. Yes, indeedy. Welcome to the beach. This is today's episode, actually. I tricked you guys. I said Granite K, but we're actually going to be at the beach. Like, for real. I suppose you're going to deliver. Those packages to Captain Stern, not quite because I want to have a beach party. Hello. Our sand castle is taking a long time to make. You can have this. It's soft sand. This boosts the power of ground type moves, basically. But you don't got ground type moves, so let's go in. Oh. I can't swim, so I'm pretending to swim. Oh. This is gonna go. <laughs> Imagine a triple battle, that would be cool. 
the battle with me. You know, triple balls, I would have thought it been like that. Three trainers all at once, but no, it's just like one person using three Pokemon at the same time. I don't care about that. Here's some water type. Here's a Wingle. Wahingle. Wahing. We're gonna we're gonna punch him out. So an interesting move, nature power that I have, oh, not on these Pokemon, but rather, actually, my Lombre. In the dirt, sandy areas, the move Earthquake is what it becomes, which is a very powerful move. I'm pretty sure they changed that in the current game, because Earthquake is obviously way too powerful for this game to handle, so they try to balance it, I guess. Which to me, I guess it makes sense in a way, but at the same time, it's like, eh, I would rather use Earthquake all day. Yeah. So they're basically wearing down our stats. I will be showing off these battles since double battles are pretty relevant in the thing. I cut out the last double battle with the rich people because they didn't show anything interesting, but these trainers, oh boy, they have some interesting Pokemon. And True went first because of the quick cloth. Let's just get that away. Just gotta clear things up for myself and you guys too. Bone narrow painted. I'm hoping that Woodchip levels up today because then it'll be a super awesome episode. Don't do that! No, stop. That's not, that's impolite, that's right. You get the effect spore. So there's effect spore in action. I think it's the first time we actually saw it. So there you go. We're gonna cut you up with a pair of scissors and absorb your health. Cause thank goodness that Wingle has the water typing for me to take advantage of. And it's paralyzed. We got this in the bag, let's finish up. It's a wrap with quick attack. Whenever I think of quick attack, I think of like Leslie from Arc Rise Fantasia with her sonic attack. It's like, huh? You're going down. It's a wrap. <laughs> uh, obscure references are great, but we got another battle right now. Because this kid was like, hey, I want to join now. I could go for a soda pop. Two to two tacos and a soda pop. That's probably not how the song goes. But Taco Flavor Kisses, we know, all know that. We all love her very much, so. But here we go, wood chip. Let's get this cracking. It's gonna be a cracking day when we cut up a uh, zigzagoon with wood chips. It's like chipping it with wood. That's that's great. I like that. I'm gonna go with that. Whenever you cut, it's, we're just like cutting up like wood chips off a tree. Zigzagoon is a tree. Please understand what I'm trying to say. Uh, because if you don't, I'll be very sad. Because Bunzo loves you. Ah, you get so close to leveling it, you didn't do it. Groan. You're groaning. I didn't get a level up. Will you have another match with me when I'm not all thirsty? Sure thing, Ricky old boy. Would you like a battle? I've played anchors and ports across the world, but Slate Port's the best. Well, to be fair, there's a lot of port cities like Canalab, uh, Vermilion. I love Vermilion, it's a very sad city. Uh, let's see, what other ports are there? I'm pretty sure Canalab. Wait, I said Canalab. Snow Point, I keep mixing that up. It has like an ice port. Uh, Olivan, that's a port. A lot of ports all over the world and stuff like that. Castelia. There are a lot of ports. I don't know if Slate Port's the best, but it's certainly festive, so I'll give you that. I appreciate that. Even Lily Cove. Lily Cove's a great one. Because I love Lily Cove City. Except, how does the boat get in? It's like all weird. But we got our pursuits. Yes, we got a new move pursuit. Let's get, a Lear get rid of Lear. Ugh, since I don't really need Lear. Pursuit is kind of a move. If you switch out, Pursuit gets extra damage. Plus, it's a cool dark type move. So, we got that out of the way. Let's send out Lilypad. I'm gonna show off this powerful earthquake move. Just watch, watch, watch. Are you watching? <laughs> Prepare yourself for this. Nature power! Use earthquake! Does he get the kill? Oop! It's <laughs> it! I hyped up Earthquake so much, and that's all you do. Alright, fine. We're just gonna switch to Absorb, because Absorb might do better. Uh, it did about the same. That's kinda sad. Earthquake and Absorb are not the same. Just saying. I highly got stabbed this way. I guess Ludicolo, Lombre, Lilypad, Lotad. Ugh. I don't know. I guess it's just not that great. But I like using Earthquake because it swept tentacles like nobody's business. You're the best! Oh, you. You know what is the best, though? Evolutions! Here's Woodchip! Oh, it's your episode on the beach! Party, party!
He's got the sprinkling on, and it's Grovile. Hello, Grover. I'm Grover. I don't know how Grover sounds at all. What the heck am I doing? It's trying to learn Fury Cutter. Um, Fury Cutter, it does 10 damage to bug move. It, I don't see it being very helpful. Like, I'd rather not. So sorry, Fury Cutter, you're, you're out. What? No. When I said no, that means I want you gone, yes. Sorry, I can't read. But regardless, we're we got level 10. We're rocking up the beach, and here is the soda hut. Yo, trainers! Whether you're hot to trot or cool cat knots, chill at my papa's spots. <laughs> Did your dad teach you rhyme like that? So you get awesome soda pops in this place. I'm the owner of the seashore house, but you can call me Mr. C. But no, thank you, actually. I, I don't care who if your name is. Let me see that your heart burns hot. If you defeat all these trainers, he will reward you with efforts. Um, I think we're done with battles for now. Uh, well, I'll do all those battles off screen. Ooh, an item. Oh, I see you over there. Don't try to trick me up, kids. I see your feet moving up and down like that. I don't think so, actually. We're gonna go to Sleepport City. Hello. The lights of this lighthouse reaches dozens of miles away. I wonder if it doesn't start a Pokemon to see. We're already in Slateport. Wow, we're we're trucking through this game pretty fast. Let me tell you, this lighthouse. It's so tiny. I didn't even think this was like a lighthouse. I thought it was like a plug or something when I was a kid. I guess I'm so spoiled by uh Olamine's lighthouse where it's like super tall, super fancy. Slateport markets. Here is the marketplace. What's up? Whenever I visit here, I get carried away and buy too much! Woohoo! Next time I say... You can buy dolls in this place. Ooh! A zero, barrel, or a skitty. I don't think we're gonna be buying dolls right now. You know, I'll buy dolls later. Uh, there's a lot of shops here, varieties and stuff like that. Shopping where you can breathe the scent of the ocean! Sleep is a wonderful place, I agree. So here's an interesting lady, they put her here in just an emerald. The very Christian game. Did you know that? Someone saw them got the idea of making medicine from berries. Did you know that? <laughs> Did you know that? To turn berries into medicine, they must be crushed into powder. Did you know that? You seem to have an interest in berries. I got something good for someone like you. I got the powder jar. Did you know that? My goodness. I recently had machines installed at Pokemon Center for crushing berries. The berry crush machines are at the direct corner upstairs. Did you know that? Could you make berry powder for me making those machines? I can make all sorts of medicines and bring you berry powder. I've never actually used those me mechanics because it involves being friendly with people. Oh yeah, since we're here in Slateport City, well here's the nickname raider. Pokemon nickname rated. We're gonna go in here because I'm going to reveal what the nickname of Breloom is going to be. I got about three suggestions. One, I don't remember your name off top hand. Uh, you did comment, so I was very, very excited, so we're actually gonna go with one that I thought was really cute, pretty relevant, so... And a lot of captains. The high school captain, I'm sure it is. So we're gonna go with this one. Hello to Captain Toad. I like this name a lot. It's very cute. So there we go. This should be known as Captain Toad. It's a better name than before. How fortunate for you, so... There we go, we got a lot. We got new teammates, all that sweet jazz, and I saw something there, but I don't want to explore right now. I don't. Welcome to the Pokemon Center. Would you like to rest your Pokemon? Yes, I would, actually. I guess I'm going to explore the town a bit more. Or maybe we should deliver the package. Who knows what I'm going to do. What the heck is this lineup? Hello. Hey, you! Quit pushing! There's a line! Can't you see it? I guess we're gonna line up all day long. Mr. Stern, who built the museum, also happens to be the leader of an undersea exploration team. So everyone calls him Cap- Ugh, I guess I'll fix that. That long line. I guess I'll fix that! That's how you do the cap in abbreviation. Alright. Well, now I know. Don't make fun of me. I know how to spell things. <laughs> hi, hi. Yes, yes. All your fortunes. I like his house in the, the remake. It's very cute. Uh, Captain Toad. How about Captain Toad? Because Captain Toad, thank you very much for whoever suggested it. Uh, I wish I knew the name off the top of your hand, but I just, this is impromptu, I just got to it. It's like, oh, okay, let's do it. Let's do it. You'll be very appreciated. It's just enough. It fits. Captain Toad, it was destiny. It's even better than Captain Toad. Uh, let's go explore some more. What's this? 
this Miss Fangled building is the Pokemon Fan Club. Ooh, hello. Wow, it's plain to see that you're lavish with your love of your shroomish. Okay, it's named Captain Toad. Can I ask you a favor? I'm a TV reporter and I'm running a survey at Pokemon. Would you be willing to answer a few simple questions for me? Yes, let's do it. When you first met Shroomish, how would you describe your feelings? Uh, let's pick something cool. Uh, I felt very... I felt very... Um, hmm. uh, I felt very... Uh, hmm. Shaky. I'm pretty shaky right now. <laughs> That makes sense. The next question is, will be a little tough on the- Oh, come on. The last question was hard enough for me. What do Pokemon mean to you? Let's pick a letter. I feel that Pokemon are very... Romantic. Yes. I see. Hmm. Okay, thanks for helping me out. It's very unlikely to chat. Bye bye Bob. Bye 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 now. Bye bye now. Hello, Barbie. I don't want to show you love. <clears throat> I am the chairman of the Pokemon fan club. Rapidash. It's so beautiful. Let me tell you about contests. But we don't got contests in here, so I cannot participate in them often. Yes, they don't have contests in this place anymore. They replaced them with Battle Dome. Battle Dome? No, Battle Tents. Let's just go in there and check it out real quick. Wrap this up. It's just a sweet little building where... What are the rules for this place exactly? I am your guide to the Battle Swap Tournament. Ooh! I don't know why that's like lower case. Here are the Battle Swap. We use rental Pokemon. This is cool. I might show this off later, actually. I like... This is one of my favorite facilities post-game, really. I might actually not show it off, but... Who knows? Anything good for new trainers? Maybe I'll try using them for a change of pace. Who knows? Maybe I'll like them. You can buy all you want even though you have tough Pokemon. So like, I couldn't find any Pokemon that were like for me, so I figured, hey, should I file a complaint to that guy over there? And when human is like, so hey, total bummer, you know, take this. What is this move? Why are you talking like a token, uh, Southern Belle or Valley Girl? Like, torments, like, totally. Like, 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 oh, don't like this. <laughs> I'm not gonna be like, oh god, he has this to me. Like, comment, subscribe if you want, I'm kidding. But that's about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. We're at Slateport City. We're gonna check out what's going on with Team Aqua over there. They're the baddies. So, see you guys then. Like, yeah. Bye.